Hi, in this video, we are going to look at some steps in writing a descriptive essay. Descriptive writing describes a person, a place, or a thing. How would you describe this scene? The structure of a descriptive paragraph or essay is the same as in a narrative paragraph of, or essay. Each paragraph will consist of a topic sentence or a main idea and two or three supporting details plus a conclusion. Each of these bullet points is going to be one to three sentences. For a descriptive essay, on the other hand, you will have an introduction that includes a thesis statement or a main idea, three supporting details and a conclusion. Each one of these bullet points equals to one paragraph. Now, in a descriptive essay, we show, we don't tell. Consider this. You are a car salesman. A customer comes in and says, I want to buy a car. What would you say to the customer? You would, pro you would probably ask him, does he want to buy a sports car or a truck? He needs to be specific about what kind of car he is shopping for. Now, we use specific details by using sensory details. We use our senses to help us write description. Our senses include sight, smell, feeling, and sound. They also include taste. But sometimes, unless you're writing about a restaurant, it's hard to add taste into the description. Here are some examples of using sensory details to describe a writing center. So what you want to do is walk into your scene and close your eyes at first and use all your senses to get an idea of what to say about the scene. You see a well-lit and sherry room to write. You smell the coffee. You can smell coffee stimulating you to write well. The look of excited faces as they write with confidence and the sound of others typing papers on computers. When you're planning a descriptive essay, you need to have a dominant impression. You are describing one thing and that one thing is your main point, which becomes your thesis statement or topic statement. You might describe a room, a place, a person or some other thing. Let's try the island was a disaster after the hurricane. What's the dominant impression here? We know the topic is the island, but what is it about the island? We are saying that the island was a disaster after the hurricane. So 
the disaster is our dominant impression and that is what we want to describe. So let's add some, some sensory details into our description. First, use all your senses. Add specific details to support your topic or thesis statement. Like what do you see, hear, smell, feel or taste? Let's look at some examples. The island was a disaster after the, after the hurricane. So, we smell the dead fish. You see some broken trees. And you hear the sound of silence. You can also feel the hot sun and the humidity in the air which usually happens after a hurricane. And you can also taste the warm water because there is no refrigeration. We use spatial order to organize our ideas in a descriptive writing. Imagine you just stepped off a plane onto the disaster side of the island. What is the first thing you would notice? Would you smell the dead fish first? Or maybe the heat and humidity would hit you first? Or maybe you are stunned by how quiet it is with no cars moving and the power out. To finish up, once you've generated a lot of ideas using all your senses, Form all your ideas into complete sentences. You, may, you can add transitions to make sentences or paragraphs flow together smoothly. Check if you've used all your senses to describe the scene. And finally, as always, proofread by checking for spelling errors and grammatical errors. Happy writing!